Welcome to this uh, video in which I'm going to talk to you about uh, Teaching Guide and in particular about the Teaching Guide Instructor Dashboard. Teaching Guide is a data-driven application focused on the Udemy courses marketplace. Now, I've been on Udemy for a long time. I actually published a directory of Udemy for a while. But I don't know about you, but I find actually trying to run my Udemy business is actually quite difficult. Udemy do give us some quite good reporting tools. They give us a very good insights tool, but it's not really the, the sophistication of tool that you really want if you're going to run a business and continually work on it with KPIs, key performance indicators, which you can use to drive your business forward. Teaching Guide, I think, is the answer. Now, Teaching Guide has an API application into Udemy, and it means that it can reach a, a huge amount of data that's inside Udemy and update it on a daily basis. It is designed to help instructors, affiliates, and Udemy students. Now, as an instructor, and I've been an instructor since 2013, you can use Teaching Guide to manage your Udemy online courses business, to monitor course performance, rank your courses higher, optimize your course reviews, promote coupons, find opportunities for new courses, and monitor your competition. If you're an affiliate on Udemy, you can use it to target the best and the highest converting courses to sell. And if you're a student, you can use it to research the best courses in a topic that you may wish to study. So let's now take a brief tour of the instructor dashboard to start familiarizing you with Teaching Guide. This is the instructor dashboard in Teaching Guide, and we're going to take a tour to go through its main features and benefits for online instructors. And if you want to do this, you can do it yourself. You simply click on the Take a Tour button up here. This is your instructor dashboard on Teaching Guide. It updates daily data based on Udemy's affiliate API and calculates more complex metrics. Its main functions are to give you an overview of the success of your Udemy business, show you changes over time and trends for important metrics, see and sort all your courses easily by many metrics, click on those courses to drill down into its details, use the monitored courses tab to add competing courses and track them also daily, export various reports and data for all your courses, so let's take a look at the dashboard step by step. Your instructor metrics. The first section of the instructor dashboard is to give you a quick overview of your most important metrics. What are trends? What are the changes within the last 30 days? And are you improving or not? You can change the time frame on the upper right to see other intervals. Your courses table. The courses table shows you all your courses with critical information about their performance. What are their rankings on subcategory and topic pages? Did the estimated search traffic based on your keywords rankings improve or not? How many new students and reviews have each course acquired? You can hover over each column title to get more details and click on the titles to sort all the data. Click the More Info button to select more columns and data available. Check the Topic column to display the primary topic for each of your courses. Now click on the More Info again to close the column list again and save us some space. Let's click on the Monitored Courses button and add a competing course we want to track. You can later click on the Add Course button or the plus symbol to search through the full course database. You should now be able to use the instructor dashboard to get quick insights on your progress and add competing courses to stay ahead. We could now go back to my courses and click on one of your courses to dive into its details. So that's a quick overlook of the instructor dashboard. And in the next video, we'll be taking a look at the course dashboard. Well, I hope you found that brief tour helpful. We will be taking a look at the other dashboards and tools available in Teaching Guide in subsequent videos. Now, if you want to learn more about Teaching Guide, just go to jbdcolleycom forward slash 
Teaching Guide, and Teaching Guide there is all one word. That's a pretty link, and it'll take you straight into Teaching Guide. Now, full disclosure, at the moment of recording this, this link is not an affiliate link, but I'm working very closely with the founder of Teaching Guide, Tom Seidel, and it may become a, an affiliate link in the future. If it does, I may be paid a commission if you subscribe to Teaching Guide, but you will not pay any more. So I hope you found that introduction useful. I think Teaching Guide is a great tool, possibly the tool we've been waiting for. And I'm certainly going to use it to not only uh, choose the topics for my new courses, but I'm going to spend a lot of time optimizing my existing courses, some of which are underperforming. And Teaching Guide is just the tool to do that.